Welcome everybody to Tech Sapa Live. Jim Warren with Tech Sapa and Chuck Fuller as Hello, well everybody. here today. Uh, we are glad to have you guys here. We are got a pretty cool program. We're going to do some multimedia today <laughs> as we get started. And uh, so today's subject is paving your way to a Tech Sapa Award. I know right. Chuck, you've been involved in this stuff I'm, forever. I'm very passionate about the Tech Sapa Paving Awards. Uh, I tell you, I've been I've been a part of them since the beginning. I believe I've uh, been an evaluator this whole time. Any I, idea how many payments you oh made? Oh God, I can't tell you. But well, you I'm, were mentioned earlier. You rate every day. I rate. Yeah, I rate. <laughs> I rate payments every day. And we're gonna we're gonna explain how how to do that today, and yep. we're gonna explain what we're looking for. Uh, what I find is that when typically we start talking about payment awards, is that um, or this whole uh, uh, section with payment awards, is that. Both contractors and the owners don't really know what we're looking at. Yeah, and so that's and that's our that's, as Chuck said, that's our goal today our is goal to today. is we're going to walk through it. We're going to we're going to write some payments as right. we go here, and get you guys clued up on that. So when you're out there, when you're building a job, when you're driving that job every day, it's as it's being built, you and guys you can, can have a little bit of feedback it. session yeah. with the contractor or with the agency and Absolutely. just say, hey, how we doing? And, and you can say, hey, here, here we go, how we doing, and, and, and let's move on. what we're looking for. So exactly. This is, this, again, exactly. I'm so passionate about this because, again, this is, this, is what, um, this is when I was running Raming Paving Company as the president of Raming Paving Company. I didn't physically build anything. Right. I didn't physically build any of those. Uh, those guys out in the field did, uh, but they knew what to look for, and they exactly. knew uh, how to do it. And I, I tell you what, it was really... It was really a big, a big shining star for me when my name got mentioned or Raymond Paving's name got mentioned. And you mentioned. took all the credit for yeah, it. Yeah, I did. I took all the credit <laughs> for it. My, my brother David and, and those guys out in the field, they do a dang good job. And so, and, and that's, that's really where it, and you're and right. That's that's, and that's where the credit and that's all, all, so all it goes. And it's not an easy job. It's not. It's, it's not, not an, an easy, easy job. job. And so we're going to make maybe make a little light of it today, but we all know the, how hard that is. And, it is tough. And uh, what we want to do. So these are the things we want to talk about. We want to talk about our award program a little bit, what we look for. We're gonna right. actually going to rate some projects and talk about some lessons learned because we've just finished rating and judging the projects for last year. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we just had the uh, winners just last week. Yeah, I think. yeah, yeah, exactly. So, Friday, so, so. Um, but then we need to be f working on what we can do for next year. So that's, that's right. those are the things we want to work on. So I wanted to bring this back up. Who's that good looking guy up there? <laughs> it's Glenn Dvorak. It's Glenn Dvorak, <laughs> yeah, and Chuck Fuller. Last month in July, our Tech App Alive, the U our Tech App Live, it's on our YouTube channel. There's a QR code if you want to grab it, but you can go to our YouTube link and uh, texasasphaltpavement.org, mm -hmm. Texas Asphalt Pavement, and bring up our YouTube link and click on the playlist. Yeah. And you can click on this or um, you can subscribe and get on, the, get on this mailing list so you're getting inv invited to all these programs. Yeah. This was a great program. Tell yeah, me what uh, you guys talked so about. So we talked about how to, uh, to how to get a, a quality award winning mm -hmm. ride. Right. And Glenn, again, director of construction from Yoakum Retired, uh, said that in all of his design process for Yoakum, they, they were shooting for an IRI of 30. Wow. And we're going to talk about IRIs quite a bit coming up here. That's a good but, number. But that's a good number. That yeah. is that is out there in left yep. field. That We're talking about some smooth pavement. That's setting a that's setting the bar. That's setting the bar. Okay. And what Glenn was uh, 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 leading to is that the fact that if it starts in design, and if those designers don't give the tools mm. to be able to, to get that 30, then we as contractors, I still consider myself a contractor, but we as contractors uh, can't do it. You it's, just can't show you up. You just can't, can't make a can't, can't, can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear, or something like that. Yeah. Or, yeah. So I suggest that anybody that's out there um, watching today, if you haven't seen the the, the Glenn Dvorak on how to build for ride quality, you need you right need there. to do that. It's yep. thirty minutes long. Yep. He, Easy. He hits a he hits a lot of stuff in a thirty minute. You guys did a you guys really did a nice interview. job. With yeah, that. and it was you and guys Glenn did a nice really job was that. did a really great job. So good deal. So today. Uh, this is kind of again what we're going to talk about is is the whole goal of the awards program, the whole goal of Tex Apple, is to provide Texas taxpayers with a durable, long-lasting asphalt That's payment. That's right. And you always say if it looks good and it rides good, it probably will be good and yeah. give a durable, long-lasting life. And that's really what we're shooting that's, for. So yeah. if you see again, the we're, we're to trying details. to do a couple things here. Right. Is we're trying to make sure we get a good payment, but we're also trying to make sure we recognize those people that are putting in all the hard work on both sides. 
Absolutely. Uh, that, in order to get there. So that's what our goal is today. Let's go ahead and jump into it a little bit and we want to talk a little bit about the program, uh, what's important, what's a process. Right. Um, let me zoom in here. This is important. We've, it's not just one job. That's we got correct. all kinds of categories. We have so different talk categories. about it. So we, so we have for the text dot. Well, well we, first we have two separate divisions. We have a text dot division and we have a non text dot division. And underneath the text dot division, we have dense graded mixes, specialty mixes, and complexity. The complexity division. Uh, we have a committee. The committee is a, a, a joint committee with uh, contractors and with TxDOT. Glenn Dvorak is co-chair, and okay. so is Glenn uh, again. Glenn again. <laughs> right? He's passionate. He's passionate. Good about job, it. Glenn. And Chris Callen, uh, yep. TxDOT, yep. Uh, DE. Good so, folks. Uh, yeah, they're, they're very, very passionate, and we have uh, subcategories. So in dense graded, we could have a, a small dense graded, we could have large, full depth. So it's, it's, it's separated it's out. It's separated to okay. where, you know, uh, they're, they're competing against each other in that in that. In and that that that's time. important. And that's very important. You don't want to take a, a huge, you know, interstate, smooth job right. and compare it to a... Frontage road. A frontage road. They're, right. they're not in the same category. And the complexity, we we decided to add complexity That's because new. of the fact it's new. It's, okay. This is his first year, okay. and it's because of the fact that we have some projects that are dang good projects. Uh, but you're dealt a, a card. You dealt some. You dealt, dealt a hand of cards, and you know what? I got to meet curb. I got to meet manholes. I got to meet ADA ramps. I got to do it at night. I can only do 200 tons of shift. And so we added that complexity program, and I think it was the right thing to do. To Just to through. separate that, because again, if you've got a, a wide open interstate job that's, you know, yes. 10 miles between exits, you can do it. You, you can do a lot of stuff right. there. But if you're working in an urban area at night under closures, yeah. you know, that's a whole nother game. And I think that's what the idea behind the complexity, Absolutely. and I think it worked out. It worked out great. So, it's worked out great. And then So our, we also got other categories. We got non-text dot, which we have airport, city streets, county roads, parking lots, specialty projects, you know, ramps, I mean, um, uh, tracks. Yeah. We have a couple of tracks that were, mm -hmm. that were submitted. Uh, city streets, and it's whether um, uh, some of the city streets that have won awards in the past, the actual city itself yeah. had paved those. And that's pretty so cool. So we've had the city of Kerrville win yeah. a couple of times. City they Kerrville, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> they can, they so can do some quality up. pavements. So Absolutely. it's not just the asphalt contractors. Yeah out there it's people that are paving so and you know what you can't do this through osmosis you have to be no. trained and you have to learn no. we have a ton of videos no but we've also gone to several cities and several counties uh, to show them, them uh you know how to and they're getting better and how and to get gotten quality better. award winning projects and they're getting yep. better so absolutely the non-categories against this joint committee <laughs> and uh, we have a lot of people involved in it uh, Robert Lee is the uh, chairman of that, and yep. Robert Lee's done a great job. Yep. And you and Robert just got finished with we that. We just finished last week. Last with, week with the so rating. So again, we're, again, uh, we're just wrapping up, and so we're going to be talking about. You guys are working on projects now, uh, indirectly or indirectly. Let's get after them, and let's say, hey, let's use this strong. information. Let's let's finish strong. So let's but let's, let's continue on here. How do we actually rate here? Let me zoom right. in here so we can talk about this. We are, we start with a number. Okay, we and and we are rating on surface surface appearance and, and smoothness. Smooth. So it's like the two different subcategories that we're working on, and we break that job down into to four different segments. Right? There's, right. you know, if it's a if it job goes north and south, we'll break it up halfway in between, and we'll wait one, you know, twice going north and twice, twice going, going south. south. And we'll break that up, and, and we make comments as we go. Absolutely. And we give it a score as we go for surface and for ride. And so those are the numbers that you can get up to 320 points total right. for the job. Now, if it's got multiple lanes in the south side, then yeah, you got to kind of break that up a little yeah. bit and do a little bit more math. It takes a little <laughs> bit of work. It takes, and it takes some time, guys, yeah. uh, to really rate a project. And uh, again, Jim was talking about there's there's two people in that uh, that are raters or mm -hmm. that are rating. The person driving the vehicle right. is is driving the vehicle that they're familiar and with. And we'll show you that here in a Absolutely. second. Absolutely. And then you have the person that's sitting in the passenger seat who's who's actually taking notes. The co-pilot. The co-pilot. Yeah. And what we're trying we're to do there. Supposed to know where they're going. Yeah, <laughs> we're supposed to. Know. <laughs> 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 but that person taking notes is the one that that kind of works the, uh, the the magic back and forth, and the right. driver is telling them, "Hey, I feel you know this is my car. I know I know when I feel a bump. Right. It's my truck. Right. And so it's real important that those two individuals 
you know, are um, are in the same vehicle. First of all, absolutely, they got to be. <laughs> they got, got to be. be. You got During to be. COVID, we try to do it separately. And and that didn't, didn't work, work well. But anyway, and uh, t- uh, for the Textile Awards, we have uh, the director of construction. Glenn got all the, or almost all the directors That's of awesome. construction. That's good. To, uh, to That's co-pilot really or work with yep. uh, contracting community. That's great. That's and I'm telling you together. that that in itself, just having that done all over the state of Texas, we had seventy. 70, 70 nominations, yep. I believe. Yep. And so that's a lot of evaluation, people. It takes some time. I mean, if you think about it, going four different times, four different ways. It could take an hour. It could take over Once an you hour get there. Per, yeah, project. per job. Absolutely. And then you're driving to the next and job. And then you're and driving to the next one. So, exactly, exactly. But uh, like you said, Jim, 320 is the uh, possible maximum amount that you can make. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to get into this a little bit more. But uh, the way that I look at it is I take that 320. I'm thinking that if you, if you nominated a project, you a contractor in TxDOT nominated that project, then you're thinking that it's a 320. It's ought to be pretty darn good. It should good. be pretty pretty much there. So, so you're going to start up here. I'm going to start at three. I'm going to start at 320. And then work your way. And down. then work my way down. Okay. So every bump, every fat spot, everything that we talk about here coming up, starts getting checked off. Starts okay. getting checked off. Okay. And uh, the main thing here with the with the scoring here is that. Um, um, it's consistency. We want to be consistent with our scores. And since we've been working with the contracting community and with uh, our we're evaluators. We're seeing more consistency between more, the Raiders, absolutely. which is good. Which really, is good. really close scoring. All right. So let's get, let's actually jump into this. Okay. So the first category was surface appearance. And so from a surface appearance, we go, these are the things we're looking for. And these would be an exceptional job, right? Absolutely. So it's, it's going to look good. It's going to be uniform and it's going to be consistent in the texture on the job. What else we got? And it's got to be tight. The cl- yep. tight, clean, longitudinal joints need to no be straight. Wavy. No wavy. No waviness. Yep. Yep. Uh, we knew very few fat spots. Uh, fat spots are um, a, a big a big no-no yeah. for me. Yep. And then yep. what I, the, the few or no discernible roller marks, um, what I can't stand is that we have a really nice looking project but we have construction mar. In other words, they yeah, move the rollers. It just doesn't look finished. It just doesn't look finished. They move the rollers from one place to another, and they roll it on the new, it's and especially on PFC. Yeah. PFC is, yeah. Uh, you know, they but just. It's like having a, a, you paint your wall, yeah. and you got roller marks roller left, marks and it's like, it. it just doesn't look like it's And, finished. you know, it's not detrimental to the pavement. It's just, you it just know. Doesn't, it it's just not, doesn't look If good. we're trying to get up here, That's it's right. just. That's not going to make it. So. And again, it's what the traveling public sees and feels also. You Absolutely. Know, that's the big that's deal. who our ultimate customer that's is. That's who our right? ultimate customer is. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, we're going to run through some, okay. we've got some video clips of some Good. projects. And these were projects that we've rated within the last couple months. Okay. And so we're going to actually going to go through them. So here's one. We're going to kind of zoom in there. And okay, Chuck, what do you see here? Yeah, what, do you, what do you see? In uniformity. I mean, it looks uniform across all the lanes. Again, yep. this is a high-speed road, yep. so that means that you're going to have to run it at that speed. Yeah, we so run at the speed at limit. At the speed limit, and you can see the striping looks good, the joints look this good. This had really good. This was, Chuck and I actually wrote this job together. It's my truck. So I'm driving, Chuck's scoring, and we're talking through this as we go, and we're saying, okay, here's a, long, here's a transverse, transverse joint. joint. Little bit of a little bump. bit of a bump there. As we're going down here, again, the, this had beautiful texture. I mean, the uniform. one thing I just kept going back to it, it really looked uniform, all really looked across. consistent it did. all the way across, all the way down. Um, stri- like you said, stripes, and I wouldn't see very few, if any, fat spots, very few, if any, roller marks. That's correct. I don't think we saw roller marks. I don't in this think job. so. This one was done really, really nice in terms of that. I, I was really impressed again with the overall just appearance of it. It yep. did. It it looked finished, and that's what uh, Jim yeah. was talking about Good earlier. Point. It, it, it looked, looked like it's done. It looks like it's done. You can see that it's a new construction, right? Yeah. I mean, we got the grass growing. You got everything up. Uh, but yeah, this was this was a really. Oh, that was oh, me. That was, was that? me. I, I bumped the camera. <laughs> I was trying to hit something. I, so, no, it wasn't a bump. That was that, me. But there's a little something a, right there. There's a couple of okay, little. Okay, now here spots. we're coming up to a joint. Yeah. Okay, here we're coming up to a, a bridge, or in culvert, and boom. And boom. So yeah. that that to me, that job was so smooth. We really, and you mentioned we that, felt we, that, we picked that up. And so, yeah. that, you know, we want those joints to be we good. Now we're going to come here to the end of the project yeah. and we're going to turn around. And to head um, back the other way. And let's figure, let's figure out, feel this joint here. Yep. And 
Boom. And had had that a, little had that little yeah. shake to it. Especially when we especially when you're running a little at 30, 30, you know, IRI, 40 IRI. Yeah, and this and was these, in the forties. And these 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 transverse bumps low forties. Yeah, um, you notice it. You notice it. It just and pops that's, up, and that's what the issue was for the ride. Is that? And I don't look at the IRI data uh, until, until after. afterwards. Yeah, which is a good my, idea. Yeah, I want my I want my behind to be calibrated. <laughs> so, but uh, you know, and something that came up about this is that in the IRI data is that when you come to a structure, um, the the it omits, right? It omits on either that. side. You take away 100 foot or 150 foot on either side of these structures, or 150 foot from the beginning and the end, which means it doesn't show up in any of the data. And right. Boom, come and on. so we, but we we yeah. we note that. See, there there it was again. Okay? Yeah. It was and a, so there were just again. But it's beautiful uniform. day. Look beautiful. I mean, a great yeah. great road to drive on. Yeah. This is a great road to drive. Oh, on. absolutely! And state the state got their money's worth times ten. This good, is going to be yeah, a durable, long-lasting project. It's, uh, but again, to win in that specialty mix, that PFC. That this is a PFC. To win yeah. in that specialty mix, you got to be on your game. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I tell you what, that PFC. We have some contractors out there that can that can get that PFC in the thirties all day long without any bumps, without any fat spots. But we got to start our way up. Yeah, We don't yeah. want to try to get the ride with the last no, lift. We want to no. try to work our way up Absolutely. Whenever, whenever we're doing Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You got to have the tools to do it. But you notice that we saw one little fat spot. Yeah. And that's typically what happens with PFCs. You get a little SMAs. clump of stuff. You get a little clump of stuff. And, yeah. and that if one we don't get it pulled out, yep. it'll show up. It'll show so, up. Um, yeah. We got to be careful of that. So, Again, surface texture, surface appearance is really super important in this whole thing, and we're looking for that. We're looking for that uniformity and consistency. We talk about yeah. that in the inspector course. We talk about it every place we go about trying to get uniformity because that's what you yeah. notice. If it's really uniform, then you notice when something's not right. Right. But it's got to be uniform and to begin with. the thing about it is, is <clears throat> that, uh, and this is what I stress so much in our debriefs, when we start talking about debriefing, mm -hmm. you know, debriefing every day. Look, go back and look at what you guys Go laid. drive it. The day before, go drive it, or the shift before, yep. and 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 look for these things because again, uh, you know we're breaking them into four sections, and, right. and you and I both have said this many times. You can have a bad day, guys. You can have equipment breakdown. You can have a truck breakdown. You can have a rain event. You can have these different things that can cause, you know, issues for that day. Right. But it shouldn't be for that the whole job. Project. Right. <laughs> if and it's in said, every section, yeah. then that's called, and it's systemic. That's yeah. what systemic that's, that's is. That's the kind of consistency and, that we don't want. And systemic issues uh, will not even come close to getting out of the first round. It shouldn't right. even be nominated right. if you have systemic well, issues. Well, they won't make it out of the first round. Yeah, it won't make it out of the and first so we've round. We've had some jobs, right? And you just kind of go, oh, yeah. You know. All yeah. right. So let's keep going. Right, keep I know going. times are times are wasting here. Um, we want to also talk about smoothness of ride. Let's see what we're looking for there. Okay. So again, what are we looking for here, Chuck? Consistency We've already talked about throughout some of this. that. The transition, no significant bump at the transverse joints. Yeah. Uh, again, guys, pay attention to the transverse joints. Those yep. those are easy to make if you yep. do them correctly, uh, and take your time on them. I mean, again, it it boils it down to the details, right? Yep. It's that You're straight edge. Right. You're it's right. that. It's Getting that. the straight edge off the paver, setting it down, making yeah. sure your old pavement and your new pavement are on parallel lines before you compact it. And once you compact it, we should have very little, if any, uh, joint right. and bump at the joint. Right. And if there is, it'll be it'll be nominal. So and then we've also, seen some really good joints. We have, we have. Yep. And then also, please look at the, look at your riding your 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 rollers and your yep. equipment on the new surface. Yeah, we don't like that. You know, I mean, I know constructability. Sometimes you get you get honed in. I get it, but uh, if at all possible, don't make know, it happen. Don't make that happen. Yeah, particularly so. on a PFC. All right, so here's another video. Let's uh, zoom in there, okay? Yeah, we so started here, there was the joint there. There was a little bump there at the joint, and we noticed that, okay? So here we are. This is a little two-lane road. Um, this was a non-text out road. Right. This was a county road. Oh, you, you, you get, this is your white truck. It's my truck, yeah. So this is yours, huh? Yeah, Albert Slaughter. Hey, Albert. Uh, <laughs> Albert and I, we raided this project <laughs> again. Another passion. Oh, there's yep. a little issue right yep, there. Right there, the and right through those intersections. That was the one thing we noticed about this job. Yeah that kind of took took it down every intersection you can see there's a little bobble there oh there's a little the, joint this little job bit. had some more issues with joints had issues with um, some fat spots some surface texture issues again it's a good looking job good looking i'm not job. i'm not panning the job but when you're when you're trying to get there and get to the winter circle yeah. we're looking for every little minute mm, detail got the evil here. eye on you for sure <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm telling you. And I tell you, the, the, the people that you really don't want uh, to evaluate your payment would be Albert and Jim. Yeah. I mean, again, tough. Those, those guys are tough and they're very, very passionate. And that's what, that's what it's all about. It's about being passionate about yeah. what you do and, and your outcome. And So if you and win, you've earned it. You've earned it. You've not, Absolutely. There's no givey. There's no gimmies, givies or whatever. No, there you're is gonna, none in this. You're going to this. This so let's, let's, again, I just, just want to kind of come back to this just for a second here. Here's our IRA, here's our schedule, uh, our table for ride schedule, table one. Um, and you look at those numbers, 60 to 65 IRI for schedule one, um, you know, is, is considered normal. Normal. You know, yep. that's what the baseline is. There's no incentive. There's no disincentive. That's what TxDOT's expecting. Um, now the, the Schedule 2 goes, has a little bit lower limit on the, on the Schedule 2. It goes down a little bit further. Um, but to win an award, you're going to probably need to be in the 40s At or least. 30s. Um, yeah. And a couple of those jobs we saw, um, the, long, the long job that we saw, that was high 30s, low 40s. It was. It was. And it was, this is a good ride. Yep. yep and it yep. got an incentive. So which is great. It, it won some bucks. Yep. Um, and again, the, 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 the issue that we saw on some of that was that those structures where the IRI data doesn't come into play. There. Right. But we look at it. Yeah. So it's, and again, yeah. it's what the public is going to feel. It's yeah. all good. But if every time I hit a joint, I'm going to like, yeah. I'm going to see that bridge and I'm going to go, okay, hang on. And by the way, we're not, we're not judging the, the surface of the bridge. It's the, the ingress right. and, in, right. and, and. How do I come on? How do I go? Come in and coming out. Yeah. And that can be a challenge sometimes if, if the structure is kind of wonky. We, we try to look at that as well. Especially if you're doing, you know, that one was wide open, new mm -hmm. right away. I mean, they're, they're probably, they're laying some good tonnage. Yeah. And again, it's that attention to detail at those structures. All right. So we're going to watch another video clip now. This okay. Looked like a good project. Here's another project. And we got a, we got uh, kind of a, we got curb and Ooh, gutter. Yeah. We got four lanes uh, with a suicide lane in the middle yeah. or the crossing lane in there, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. Um, Looks pretty good. Right. Look, texture looks good. Rides pretty good. Here's the other way. Be looking at it That's from the other direction. Now, I got point. the sun in my eyes. Yeah. Um, not mine. This well, I didn't rate this job, but we're yeah. just looking at it. Um, but again, there's some little it's stuff in here. Couple nothing of fat major. Spots. Yeah, I see some fat spots. Nothing. Bit, nothing yeah. huge. But it's it's. A, but again, it's this is a nice job. Yep. There's nothing wrong with this job. It certainly, I mean, it, I'd be certainly happy with it. But again, we're looking, we're looking joint. for the best of the best. So we're looking at those joints. We're mm -hmm. looking for fat spots, roller marks, surface texture issues. Yeah, another, yeah. Now, if somebody comes out of the driveway and has a problem, that's another issue. Here's another job. Boom, we're getting yeah, on it. Now, you saw one. what we had to match into. Yeah, and yeah. there really wasn't much to match into there. Right. This is another job. Uh, you saw where it was if you were paying attention. Um, <laughs> good, good looking Matt there. Good looking Matt. Again, you know, six lanes here, um, running all the way over, tying into a, tying into structures on the shoulder on the inside there. So you got to run a couple all, uh, little, fat little fat spot, spots. I saw you know? that. Yeah. Um, but again, we're going to rate each lane. each lane, north you know north and south, east or west. Break it in the fours. Start at 320, work our way down. We're going to count all that stuff as we see it. Yeah, there's little, another little, little bit of bump right there as you're coming through there. You can see kind of how the vehicle just kind of suspension yep. kind of yep. extends a little bit. Maybe a couple little fat spots there. Yep. But and overall, really good looking job. And you got to look in both directions. That's something that we talked about earlier. I think either whether it's Albert or Glenn or one of those guys said, hey, you got to look in your rear view mirror. When you're yeah. going this way and you look in your rear view mirror, it looks different. It does. It does. It and does. So, and I, so I when like I'm driving, fact. I try not to look too much in the rearview mirror. Yeah. But um, I like the way when you turn it around and you're going back the other way, you had two different views of that roadway. Yeah, and it really, it really does it look really differently. Does. It do, really does look different in the process. Yeah. So, so that that process right there, those three lanes going in all those directions and breaking it up into into four different, it could take you an hour or more to rate one roadway. Yeah, depending on so, where the where the turnarounds are and all that. Yeah, I mean, so it's. It's a big commitment and a big, big thank you to all our raiders, both Absolutely. text out and, and industry folks that go out there over there. And <clears throat> they could spend they could spend a week on the road, some of them, yeah. you know, and we really, really appreciate all that. But again, I think everybody's trying to work together to try to to try to up the game, if you will. Absolutely. And man, when you get on one of those jobs, it's just like, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, it's beautiful. I was yeah. driving 
recently and I, I hit a nice smooth stretch of asphalt and uh, I was on yeah. another kind of pavement and I, <laughs> and I hit that asphalt and I was like, yeah. I just relaxed a little bit. I was like, okay. Uh, it's all good. I can just just ride now and enjoy the enjoy the ride, yeah. uh, if you will. So um, lessons learned. Right. You, you you've seen more pavements than anybody. What did we specifically learn this year that may be different that maybe we need to carry on and we need to yeah. talk about for next year in the process? What so, what did you get out of this year's award? So my PIQ meetings that uh, that I've been having, we've been going through and talking about the lessons learned in each of the different districts. Right. And I think the biggest lesson learned is that, um, first of all, it has to be designed mm -hmm. correctly. It has to be designed from the very get-go. That's the very first. If you're, if you're a design engineer out there, a district engineer, or your district out there, design for an award-winning project. Right. Second thing we learned is that it takes two. It takes, two. It takes the owner and the owner's rep and the contractor uh, both on the same page, yep. both wanting an award. Nobody's ever got up there on that award stand and said, I won, I, I won yeah. this by myself. You know, <laughs> It never does. It will not work. And uh, the other thing that we learned is the daily debriefs do work. Yes, sir. So if you have not paid attention to Start any of the stuff that Start I've today. talked about. Start it today. <laughs> daily debriefs, the person building that project, that foreman or yeah. that superintendent, the guy that's out there every day building it for the contractor. With the inspector. With that inspector or that inspector's or TxDOT's representative yeah. or that city's representative. Yeah. It could be an outside. Yeah. Yeah. But they've got to work together. They've got to work together. Um, not so only if you have a bad day, we can make it a better day tomorrow and we don't have to repeat the first day. And, and, Absolutely. and we can see that um, when we look at a job. It's like Okay, they had a rough they had a rough section here, but every and you can almost tell where people started yep. on these projects. Absolutely. You can kind of start what lane and go here, there, and then all of a sudden it's just kind of okay. Right. They got it figured out, and now we're on cruise control, yeah, and, and that's I, what we're looking for. I can't stress enough. Every district that I've gone to, where they're they they promote uh, quality, they promote safety. Mm -hmm. uh, I guarantee you that that area engineer, that director of construction, that assistant area engineer, they are directly involved in the project and that's, so that's what makes that's, that's what, what makes, makes it, it. and like i said it. we uh glenn uh got all the director of construction most of them i believe uh, but they were all involved in this uh, first round evaluation and in the second round evaluation Big so deal. and i Big think deal. it was a it was a great learning opportunity not only for the for TxDOT, but for the contractor mm -hmm. because again getting in that vehicle and discussing what you see and what you feel sure uh, all the that, way up and down yep. all the way up and down yep. uh, so those are the lessons that learned in, in 2022 and uh, I think they're good lessons. And yeah. again, um, that de daily debrief, it's on our website, texasphalt.org. And it's, it's the little stuff. What, is, what does it take? It's, 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 the the, it's the attention to detail. It's that straight edge yeah. with the transverse joint. Yeah. It's the fact that you've you got a good uh, longitudinal joint. It's not, and, not taking mix and throwing back over the you mat. You don't got tack oil all, all over the curb right. or all over the inlet, face of the inlets or all over the wall. So it's everybody mm. working together all the time every ton every day the same way trying to make it a good place. laying out the stripes correctly yeah. i mean all that stuff oh yeah striping play. matters so, too yeah that striping. can be an issue but here's the deal i don't typically take off for um uh, an issue on a section of striping right but if it was laid out wrong and they had to come through there and blacken out a whole section and then this it's happened, never going to look then right. it's never going to look right we want the one to look right up here the we one. want that one we want that one that, that's that's the one that gets the check and, and again if you win an award if you win a tex app award you've gone through two rounds of evaluations mm -hmm. four different people right. right right and and you get judged and scored and then it comes to the committee, and then the committee reviews all of the information that's written down about the project. And the videos. And the videos. Yep. Looks we at the video videos. each job. Goes through the videos, goes through all the written comments. So for you to win an award, that's a huge, huge star, you know, in your, it's not, in your portfolio. It's not a participation. It's program. not a participation. <laughs> and here's the deal, guys. If you win a Tex App Award, okay, we're talking, about, we're talking about how it looks and how it rides, and, and you win a Tex App Award, those awards then will go to NAPA, the, the National, National Asphalt, Asphalt Pavement Association. Association. Yep. And those guys are really, they really put the. the They're going to the get into the ringer. They're going to look at your data. <laughs> They're, They're going to look at, at your test results. They're going to look at all your AC contents, your lab densities, your in place densities, your AC content. They look Everything. at They look at your IRI. They, they strip it down. They got standard deviations. And you, I mean, you have to be on your game 
to even get in that category. And they're looking at every, all the way across the country. Absolutely. And yeah, state. they're looking at all the pro projects yeah. all over the country. Yeah. And I mean, again, Texas has won multiple NAPA awards. It was 11, 11 out of 13 Absolutely. Last year. And as so a matter doing, of fact. doing good stuff, got, guys. We got a guy, we got a contractor that's uh, that's Kiwit that's in yeah. the running for the Sheldon G. Hayes. And this is the second time those guys have been in the running for the Sheldon G. Hayes and Award. And that's the, that's the that's Mac the Daddy, granddaddy, granddaddy of we've them only, all. We've only had two Sheldon G. Hayes Award winners in yep. Texas. Yep. So, hey guys, this is, <laughs> and the one that the uh, Kiwit did, I mean. And I, it's, it's a multiple years yeah, to get that. You takes, don't, you don't, you're not, it, they, it has to wait and sit for another year and then they come in and they re-rate it. They rerun all they the re IRIs. IRI, yeah, yeah, so if so. there's anything that's happened in between, it all gets yeah. picked so up. Kiwit's so Kiwit's in the running for it again. Scott Rowland, <clears> these guys <throat> out there, they do a great job. Again, yep. their attention to detail is unbelievable. Yep. Uh, I was a part of that, 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 that first round evaluation. You're taking particular. credit for that one. I'm right? taking credit for that one, but uh, <laughs> but my brother David actually won one of the Sheldon G. Hayes Award when there he was go. with Austin Road Company. It's in so, the family. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. In Rod, the Roger Bailey was our president, and David Fuller and his guys, John right. Garcia, and those guys won it, and they got to go to San Francisco and cool. and pick it up. And awesome. it's a, it's a big, huge deal. It's one of the things that uh, will will stay with him forever. And I know absolutely. It. It's and like winning the Super Bowl. It's like winning the Super Bowl. Good it deal. really is. And again, right. it's only been one twice. So, so. let's let's uh, let's kind of wrap it up here what's okay. the takeaway here uh, the takeaway is we want you guys to start to rate Absolutely. look at these projects the way we, we look at them and rate them and then have that discussion every day have that discussion in your district have that discussion with your other teams um, to kind of hey this is where we're at this is where we want to get what do we got to what do we got to do to get, to get from there. here to here right. in that process <clears throat> and one of the things that we did I think it's we did this during COVID I yeah. think yeah um, and uh, we were I guess not contagious or something, whatever. So we sat in the same car without mask on. And I wasn't contagious. Yeah, I wasn't you? contagious either. Um, but what we've done is, and let me show you that. If you got a, if you got a QR code reader, you can click on that while I'm talking about it. But Chuck and I got in his car, and we went out and re-rode a project that ended up winning an award. Absolutely. And we walked through it, and we did the same thing we're kind of doing here today. We actually walked through and said, okay, this is. This is going to take points off for this. This is going to take points off for this. And we, we drove the whole job. It's almost an hour uh, if you watch the whole thing. But you can got to get a sense of every lane, you're breaking it up into quarters, the process upon which. And you can zip through it if you want and watch different pieces of it. And there's a really good discussion at the end. Um, about, about scoring, about scoring, about that's how it. we actually scored. So yeah. that's, a, that's out there as well. Um, you can click on that. It's on our YouTube website. Uh, it's also on our TexApple website. If you go to texasasphalt.org and click on the awards, um, this video will pop up right there. Mm -hmm. And also the criteria for the awards program right. will, will pop up as well. So yeah. um, we'd like you guys to go out and start rating. Absolutely. And Take pictures. Take pictures. Send them to um, us. Send them to us. Oh, absolutely. Um, Our magazine. We <clears throat> love to have good quality pictures of, yep. of good of uh, good quality roadways. And again, it's if it looks good and it rides good, yeah. it's going to be good. It's going to be durable, long lasting pavements. And if you're um, going to take a picture, don't take it this way. Don't take <laughs> it this way. <laughs> yeah. Well. So, uh, and uh, by the way, other other individuals are uh, really really interested in being able to uh, being able to, to perform uh, good quality work. Yeah. I'm going to be up in Tarrant County, uh, uh, up there talking to those guys okay. uh, about, uh, and one of the one of the ones that they wanted to do is how to evaluate our pavements. There we go. So, and again, we'll be up there, and uh, we're going to spend a, a day with those guys. But uh, we have a lot of interest uh, with non-textile awards. And if you would like to be a raider in the future, yes. let us know. Yeah, uh, us Jay honor. Warren at TexasAsphalt.org. Let me know, uh, and uh, we'll put your name on the list for next year. We're always looking for for new people and to expand it out. It, it's like, it's got a little scary at first, cause, but, but then once you kind of get into it, it all right. seems to start to make, make sense. And the more you do, the easier you do. And the yeah. easiest way to do to really kind of get yourself tuned up is you, as you're driving around, Go ahead and just start looking. Start how, rating. What would, how would I rate this payment? How would I rate this? Now you don't have to do the whole job, but if I'm on a, coming onto a job, I'm going to rate yeah. this lane. I'm going to break it up into two two segments and I'm going to just, what would I do? What would I give, you know, what would I take points away from? What, do I, what am I seeing that's really awesome in this job? So 
that's what we're that's what Absolutely. we're about. No, I agree with you 100. percent Long lasting, I, more durable pavements. I, I rate pavements all, <laughs> all the time. time. Drives so, my wife crazy. Yeah, me too. She's like, so, oh, look at that. I'm going, oh, look at that. And uh, and I videotape a ton of stuff. I, I keep a camera or dash cam in my deal all the time. If I see a really good pavement, I me pull too. that thing out and I and I keep it and I use it in my presentations. Yep. Will so, do. absolutely. So, that's it for today for Texas Tech Apple Live. Chuck yeah. Fuller, thank you so much Appreciate for being it, part Jennifer. of this. Always a pleasure. I'm very with passionate you. about this. It's one of my favorite committees to be on. And yep. Glenn Dvorak has done a great job with it. I can't, I can't stress enough. Glenn and Chris have done a really good job of putting this yep. thing together. Good job. And uh, it shows. So, we will see you next time on Tech Apple Live. Take care, everybody. All right, see you guys.